YouTube, it's your boy King Lottie. This is Black Investors Group. And as you can see, man, we are in the box truck right now. Right now, I am picking up a load. We are at a Navy base. As you can see, man, it's a lot of people out here working on these ships, getting all this freight put on the ships and taking these freight off the ships, guys. And one thing about this trucking business is it's gonna be some wait times, okay? You're gonna, it's like a hurry up and wait, just like the military. You're gonna have to hurry up to get somewhere at like eight o'clock, and then you're probably gonna be waiting for an hour or even two hours to get loaded or to get unloaded. So this is the wait line, guys. It's about 10 cars in front of me just to get into that security gate right there to get loaded up from these ships. I have a video on how to rent a box truck, how to run loads without having your own box truck right here, link in the description on how to get started in the box truck business without owning your own box truck. But guys, this is my second load and I'm gonna show you guys how, you know, it pretty much works. I'm gonna take you along with me, so stay tuned for more after the intro. Woo! As I was saying in some of my other videos, you don't necessarily have to have a van or a big truck to be in the trucking business, guys. Like I said, there is pickup trucks here. There are dump trucks here. There are flatbeds here. And guys, you can really, you know, like apps like GoShare and apps like Freight, you know, they, you don't have to have a truck to, you know, drive. You can have your pickup truck. You can have a sedan for some of these driving apps to run loads. But we in a box truck right now, so we're gonna talk about box truck things, man. We're finna get loaded up. I'll show you some footage, hopefully, once we get loaded, if they're not tripping, because it is a military base. But I think, I believe it's only one uh, box, one pallet. And, you know, we got a three hour trip to South Carolina from Jacksonville. And then we already got something booked from South Carolina to North Carolina. So, you know, easy money for the day. So let's get it. Other key essentials that you might want to consider getting yourself before you hop on this road is a phone charger, man, with a USB. You know what I mean? This truck has a lot of USBs. You got one, two, and then you got three right there. And that third one right there, you know, as soon as you plug your phone up, it's going to play through the radio. These radio speakers are buns. Glasses, too, man. Don't forget some sun shades. Some, don't forget your shades, man, because this sun is ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? It hits you right in your face, man. Look at that big old bubble right there, that big old orange ball. But, yeah, with these fishbowl tinted windows, no tints, you know what I mean? You need some sunglasses or else your eyes will be hurting. The visor is not really going to help you because it actually uh, it blocks your vision a little bit. It's kind of harder to drive with that, vi that big visor down, so... Make sure y'all keep some sunglasses um, with you, man. Also, man, you want to make sure you got like some type of clipboard or manila folder so that they could, you know, so you can put your BOLs in here, your rate cons in here if you have a printed out rate con. But you put your BOLs in here, you can use the folder or the clipboard for them to sign it on, you know, so you don't have to go to a desk. You can just sign it right there, standing up. And yeah, guys, it's, uh, you're going to need something like this. Keep up with your papers. Still waiting, guys. It's been about 30 minutes. Uh, now I'm four cars. Uh, I'm, I'm the next four cars, so 30 minutes. I give it another 15 minutes, and I'll probably be in there. I'll let y'all know. right back. Long line, guys. I think it's about five cars back there. You can't see them all, but it's about five cars, guys. Long line, long line. So yes, guys, we here, and that box right there is heavy as a mother sucker. God damn. What's up, man? They say that the four lifts can't go on the box trucks. I guess they're too heavy. Only for semis. So we're gonna see how good this man is. How do you see, man? Just one. We are at some type of shipyard in South Carolina. And yeah, man. So we are at our second pickup of the day. This one is getting delivered tomorrow morning, three hours up the road again. And there we go, baby, the rider rental. You know what I'm saying? Look at the comparison. It's like tr almost triple the size, bro. But yeah, man, as you can see, 
you gotta have your folder for your paperwork, you know what I mean? And yeah, always make sure you lock your doors anywhere you go. Always lock them. Cause people trying to thieve out here, man. They trying to thieve. Actually, man, funny story. So the first time I got a load, right, we was at a rest stop. Me and my girlfriend was outside the truck, in the back of the truck, cause I was checking out something in the back of the truck. So we was towards the back. The light in the, the light up for here, right up here was on, okay? And it was literally like one minute, okay? It was in the back of the truck. It was literally one minute and somebody already tried to, you know, a thief, you know what I mean? Somebody already tried to get in a truck. My girlfriend said she saw somebody walking towards the truck. And when she looked at him, he turned away and started walking the other way. So guys, it's not safe out here in this trucking world. Everybody knows that you have some type of valuables in your truck being over the road. So please lock your doors, guys. Get those covers, have some privacy, and stay safe out here. Y'all hear that? I'm getting loaded right now, man. We moving, truck shaking and stuff. They being rough and reckless. They bet not make me have to pay for a rental damage fee. But yeah, man, like I said, hurry up and wait game. Uh, I've been waiting about an hour and a half now. I feel like, you know, the average would be probably about 30 minutes, 45 minutes of wait time on the normal. But uh, I've been waiting an hour and a half. And as soon as I walk into the building to get somebody to, you know, check on something, that's when five minutes later they want to come up here and load me so we're getting loaded right now as you can see the camera's moving because i'm moving the truck is moving because they moving the truck with their forklift or whatever they got going on and uh yeah i want to say so last time i was getting loaded up right they said that the forklift can't go on the box trucks and now the way that that just felt it feels like the forklift is on the box truck because we're at the dock that's another thing guys make sure you guys eat before nine o'clock before everything closes and you're limited go ahead make sure you feed stomachs up and yeah man i think we're about done she said i don't know if you can see it here you go she said that that red light once it's green to go back up to the front and get your paperwork my bol and yeah guys that's the most important thing of this trucking game you want to get those bols and the rate con started. See what look, look, you know what I mean? Bruh, bruh, what, what they got? I need to check. They definitely got the forklift on here, man. But hey man, I don't gotta load nothing, so you know it's easy little work day. So let's get it. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all like this video to keep more of these bangers coming out, man. Give me all this entertainment, give me all this content, give me all this knowledge. Just hit a like button so it can keep going, man. So we can go up, so we can hit 100 k subscribers, man. On the road to 100 k and yeah man we out so guys for the mystery load the moment y'all have been waiting for voila short boxes short boxes only like i think it's probably five of them in there yeah five boxes they're short so i'm not putting no straps on them i don't know why i'll be seeing videos and everybody putting straps on the short boxes stuff that can't even move bro but as you can see, you know, you just lock that thing up like that. Now, sometimes some brokers want to see that you have a seal. And what a seal is, is like a plastic tag that goes right there and it has a number on it. And when you get to your location, they want to make sure that number matches up. And yeah, man, that's pretty much it. And now we are out of We did it, man. It is the end of the day. It's about 11.07. So, you know, a full day of work, man. We are at the truck stop. This truck stop is so crowded. They have no spaces. And it's literally like 15 cars. It's 15 trucks lined up outside of the truck stop. And I'm, I am right in front of a curb, just like he is right there, right in front of a curb. But I'm like so perfectly on it. But anyways, man, this is the pillowcase on the window so that people can't see in you and see you try to you know look at your sleeping as you can see it's a little crack right there but on this side we got that crack cover with the bootleg napkins man the bootleg napkins we got the crack covered i put my jacket right there to cover that little spot because the car the car thing isn't big enough for this big behind truck and you know it works out pretty good 
pillow right here, blanket right there. We got the double blanket. And yeah, man, we're going to sleep, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I want to see how like the day in the life of a trucker is to see how a rental box truck can get you where it can get you, how you can make a thousand dollars from renting a box truck. Make sure y'all go click on that video and watch that video, man. It's your boy King Lotta. This is Black Investors Group. Stay tuned for more, man. I'm going to be making a lot of these trucking vlogs. Stay tuned for more. And we out. Blah!